Before ascending to heaven after the resurrection, Jesus commissioned his disciples in Matthew 28, 19 to go into all the world to make disciples. It was a commission his followers took seriously. In the span of a few decades, that initial band of disciples grew from a small group of a dozen or so men and women in Jerusalem into a worldwide movement of thousands of believers. New generations of Jesus' followers also took Jesus' command seriously to go and make disciples. Churches began sprouting up in distant places. People heard the good news about Jesus for the very first time, and over the centuries, Countless millions have accepted Christ as their Lord and Savior. As Christians living in the 21st century, we know that the Great Commission is just as applicable in 2022 as it was nearly 2,000 years ago. And as Seventh-day Adventists, we believe God has called us as part of a special end-time movement to tell the world that Jesus is coming again. The Lord has authorized to boldly proclaim to all who will hear, fear God and give Him glory for the hour of His judgment has come. And if the last five years have taught us anything, it's that signs of the imminent return of Jesus are all around us. Every day there are new reports of wars and rumors of wars, natural disasters, violence, civil unrest, political strife, and yes, disease that has brought trouble to all nations of the world. But friends, God has commissioned the Chesapeake Conference of Seventh-day Adventists for such a time as this. He's tasked all of us with fulfilling the Great Commission and proclaiming the three angels' messages, but He's not leaving us by ourselves to complete the mission. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, Jesus is with us always to equip and empower us to move forward by faith. Today, I'm happy to report that despite the unprecedented challenges of the last five years, the Chesapeake Conference has pressed on by faith, and the Kingdom of God has increased in our territory. Though some wondered how COVID-19 would affect church growth, membership commitment to church life, Adventist education, and stewardship, the Lord has been with us and has blessed our conference in ways we could have never imagined. In 2017, at the beginning of this waning quinquennium, the newly elected executive committee adopted a strategic plan for ministry that states the mission, vision, core values, and ministry priorities of the Chesapeake Conference. The five main ministry priorities were, and in no particular order, evangelism and outreach, children's and youth ministries, Adventist education, young adult and family life ministries, and leadership development and training. In the brief updates that follow, you'll hear how the spiritual gifts of Chesapeake members have enabled us to strengthen the body of Christ and advance the gospel in our territory. Let's begin by talking about evangelism. Ellen White tells us in the book Ministry of Healing that Christ's method alone will give true success in reaching the people. The Savior mingled with people as one who desired their good, and she says He showed sympathy for them, ministered to their needs, and won their confidence. Then He invited them, follow me. In Chesapeake, we've taken this inspired wisdom to heart. Over the last five years, we partnered with our members to establish cycles of evangelism in our churches that include friendship evangelism, small groups ministry, community services, seed sowing, and bridge building events. And of course, full message reaping meetings. So here are some of the highlights. Between 2017 and 2021, 2,063 people made decisions for Christ and joined the Chesapeake Conference through baptism or profession of faith. In 2018, we organized a conference-wide Reach Chesapeake initiative where approximately 55 churches conducted evangelistic meetings in the fall. When the pandemic limited in-person gatherings in 2020, we held not one, but two online Forecasting Hope evangelistic series which aired nationwide. This series resulted in numerous Bible studies and baptisms in Chesapeake and also throughout the North American division. 
One of our most exciting projects is our 35 by 25 initiative, which aims to plant 35 churches by the year 2025. Despite the pandemic, we've planted 17 churches toward our goal. As we continue to work to establish new churches in the unentered areas of our conference, we're employing new and creative methods. In 2021, we were pleased to open the Urban Life Center in Baltimore, right there on Eastern Avenue. This unique outreach ministry was formed by the Baltimore White Marsh and Ellicott City churches with support from the Chesapeake Conference, Columbia Union, and the North American Division. This establishes a center of influence for the ultimate purpose of planting new churches inside the beltway of the largest city in our territory. Our goal is to ensure that each Chesapeake pastor and congregation has the necessary resources they need to be effective, powerful, spirit-filled, and mission-driven, and to be a soul-winning force for Jesus. Hispanic Ministries is thriving in Chesapeake Conference. Through the dedicated efforts of our Hispanic pastors and churches, 1,003 people has been baptized into Hispanic congregations in Chesapeake over the last five years. The Hispanic Ministries Department has worked to provide training for pastors and lay ministries leaders on important subjects like personal evangelism, small group outreach, and church planting. We also organize a number of family ministries events, including three couples retreats. Between 2017 and 2021, the Hispanic Ministries Department has established nine church groups, seven church companies, and four churches. Today, more than 2,500 people are members of Hispanic congregations in Chesapeake. Praise the Lord. Over the last five years, our ACS team has found that when we take on the challenge of Christ method alone, churches are revitalized. Pastors gain vision and church members find fulfillment. When the pandemic began in 2020, our Chesapeake ACS team was already working in some places, but quickly responded by developing a strategy to meet local needs. We worked with our community partners and also state partners to establish 32 food pantries in our churches. And also we coordinate for the state the distribution of more than 750,000 PPE items. The value of this PPE items were over $2.5 million. We also helped to organize numerous COVID testing and vaccination sites. And because of all of this effort during the pandemic, Chesapeake Conference Adventist Community Services received the 2020 Maryland Volunteer Organizations Active in Disasters Award. Chesapeake ACS also has been extremely active in providing support to Afghan refugees resettling in our territory. Members of our ACS team were there to meet refugees as they arrived at Dallas International Airport. When we meet them, we were able to provide emotional and spiritual care to them. During the following months, we collected and distributed more than 300 welcome baskets of essential items. We intend to continue improving the way we do ministry, serving and loving our communities and neighborhoods so the spread of the Three Angels message may be accelerated. In Proverbs 22.6, we are told, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. In Chesapeake, we're completely committed to training up young people to be followers of Jesus Christ. We believe what the research tells us. When our churches and schools intentionally partner with parents for discipleship, young people are much more likely to stay committed to Jesus and remain active in the church in their adult years. Here are some of the ways from the past five years that Chesapeake has followed through on its commitment to Adventist education and children, youth, 
and young adult ministries. In our Chesapeake Conference schools, our team of highly trained educators is committed to offering the highest quality Christian education and strives to foster a love of learning in our students. We believe that the most important role of Adventist education is to lead children and youth into a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. In 2019, the Education Department provided training that introduced our team of educators to the principles of Schools in Discipleship, a ministry focused on unifying the home, school, and church into intentional partnerships to mentor children for Jesus. Chesapeake schools are all in on STEM learning. Over the past five years, we've provided STEM training for all of our teachers and have helped organize special events around the conference, like STEM expos and STEM weeks of prayer. And two of our Chesapeake schools, Spencerville Adventist Academy and Highland View Academy have become nationally STEM certified. In March, 2020, education changed drastically because of the pandemic. Our schools quickly adapted and transitioned to virtual learning. Teachers went above and beyond the call of duty, spending their spring break vacation, learning how to teach online, creating new ways to instruct students over the internet, and preparing to enter the virtual education world without missing a beat. When the 2020-2021 school year began, principals and school boards from each school created meticulous COVID-19 mitigation plans to meet the needs of their local constituency while ensuring the safety of their students and staff. Throughout the pandemic, our schools have remained operational through various methods of online learning, hybrid, and in-person instruction. Because of the excellent service our students have received, many of our schools have grown during the pandemic to the point of needing to increase staffing and facilities. Our Chesapeake schools are a shining light in their communities. Highland View Academy's mission is to inspire and mentor our students to excel in all Christ calls them to do. As the first nationally STEM certified school in the North American Division, HVA continues to develop advanced courses and opportunities for our students to be tomorrow's leaders. In 2021, we launched a makerspace for students that includes cutting edge equipment such as virtual reality headsets, 3D printers, recording equipment, soldering equipment, and much more. And through our partnership with Washington Adventist University, students can graduate from HV with up to 16 college credits by participating in our dual credit program. Our campus ministries team organizes a number of worship activities and faith building events through the year to help students grow spiritually. One highlight is our annual week of service where students have tackled mission projects locally, domestically, and abroad. Highland View Academy can only achieve its mission through the faithful support of parents, alumni, Chesapeake members, and other community partners. Over the last five years, more than $1.36 million has been donated to support school programs and fund student scholarships such as the DeHaan Scholarship, and worthy student funds. Of the donated total, $1.23 million has been directed to student aid, allowing many students to attend who couldn't otherwise afford tuition. We thank all our partners who help enhance and support Adventist Christian education at HVA. The Children's Ministries Department supports Chesapeake churches and local children's leaders by providing training, networking, and resource materials so that they can nurture children into having a loving, serving, and personal relationship with Jesus. Each year we organize two conference-wide training events on topics such as learning styles, child safety, Zoom training for virtual learning, 
storytelling, and child evangelism. We also host events where leaders can connect with peers and receive individualized support. One of our annual highlights is coordinating and programming for the beginners, kindergarten, and primary divisions at camp meeting each summer. Highlights from past camp meeting gatherings include Bible stories coming to life through skits and visits from Bible characters, petting zoo trips, nature nugget stories, slip and slide fun, and craft time. Thank you to all the VBS volunteers, Sabbath school teachers, and children's ministry leaders who provide meaningful Christ-centered programs in Chesapeake. Youth and Young Adult Ministries in our conference aim to train our young people to effectively use their gifts for mission and service. We currently have 29 adventure clubs with just under 600 adventurers and staff. We also have 35 Pathfinder clubs with almost 700 youth participating, of which 54% are teens. This is unheard of in any other conference. Every summer, we run two summer camp ministries, one at Modena Retreat Center and the other one called Flag Camp for our local churches as a community outreach initiative. Together, our summer camp and 14 flag camp locations draw on average over 700 campers each year. That is phenomenal. We know that the most important ministry happens in your local church. And in order to support our youth and young adult leaders, from around the conference, we organize multiple training events each year. Over the past five years, we've developed an innovative curriculum for leaders working in a variety of ministries, of which includes youth, young adults, teen leaders in training, also known as TLTs, and seven Master Guide Advanced Certifications. As we continue to work together, with our amazing team of local church leaders. Our aim is to disciple young people for Christ. At Mount Etna Retreat Center, children and young people especially can learn more about our Creator in a beautiful natural setting. In addition to hosting summer camp, we also provide 16 weeks of outdoor school for Chesapeake students as well as students from Allegheny East and Potomac conferences. Our retreat center is a very special place where people of all ages can unplug from all the distractions and busyness of life and focus on connecting with Jesus. Our facilities include meeting rooms for large and small groups, a dining hall, a seasonal swimming pool, hiking trails, space for canoeing, basketball, volleyball, a playing field, and a fabulous nature center. We provide lodging for up to 200 and heating and air conditioned cabins and guest rooms. Over the last five years, we've continued to improve our facilities to provide better guest experiences. Some highlights include renovating the swimming pool, installing metal roofs on all the buildings, rebuilding Flagle Pavilion, and adding over 100 new animal mounts to our collection in the Nature Center. We're open for retreats and encourage guests to come and visit our Nature Center, which is open to the public every Saturday afternoon from 2 to 5, free of charge. The Apostle Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 4 through 6, that there are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit distributes them. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but in all of them and in everyone, it is the same God at work. Elsewhere in Ephesians chapter 4, Paul states that God calls all of us to different roles for the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. In Chesapeake, we recognize that everyone has been equipped by the Spirit with unique gifts and ministry abilities. We're committed to building up the body of Christ by providing coaching, training, and resources tailored to specific areas of ministry. And of course, the backbone of everything we do is prayer. Throughout this quinquennium, we've emphasized the importance of prayer in one's personal and family life, as well as corporate church life through prayer-focused camp meeting themes and special conference-wide days of prayer. Chesapeake is blessed 
to have its own prayer line every Wednesday morning at 6.30, where everyone is welcome to dial in and seek the Lord together in prayer. In Chesapeake, we're invested in the continued growth and success of our leaders. Over the last five years, the ministerial department has developed a four-year internship training program for pastors in the ordination and commissioning track to ensure that new pastors are set up for long-term sustainable ministry in service to the Lord. In this quinquennium, 10 pastors have been ordained, three pastors were commissioned, and one school chaplain was ordained. We know that COVID-19 has presented unique ministry challenges to our Chesapeake pastoral team, and they have excelled adapting and responding to the pandemic. Chesapeake is also blessed to have amazing lay leaders who faithfully serve God in their areas of influence. We have worked to support our lay ministry leaders through initiatives like our Elders Leadership Certification Program and regular training sessions for deacons and deaconesses. Family ministries have a great potential to connect congregations with the families in their surrounding neighborhoods. Chesapeake has partnered with local church family ministry directors to host marriage enrichment events in several of our conference churches. We've also organized conference-wide marriage and family ministry programs, such as our annual Love for a Lifetime retreat. Our men's ministries department exists to empower men for ministry. We offer support to men's ministries, leaders offering mentoring, providing training, and supporting local church events. We're also partners with Maryland Men of Faith and their annual retreats. As we look forward to the next Winquenium, we will continue to support our pastors, help them develop their ministry skills, their leadership abilities, and professionalism to serve their congregations effectively. We will continue to train the trainers, disciple the disciple makers, and pastor the pastors. The Women's Ministries Department is dedicated to helping women deepen their spiritual experience with God by embracing His call to service and intentionally harnessing their leadership potential to bless others. Our department hosts an annual conference-wide Women's Ministries Retreat to encourage women to grow spiritually, acquire new ministry skills, and build meaningful relationships with other women around the conference. In 2020, our annual retreat was held virtually due to the pandemic, but we praise God we could still connect online. We are thrilled to return to an in-person program in 2021, where more than 150 women of God of all ages attended our Unstoppable Praise Retreat. We remain committed to supporting local women's ministry leaders by providing mentorship, training, resources, and opportunities for collaboration. And we're excited to promote unity and sisterhood among women in the Chesapeake Conference through future events and activities. In order for any organization or movement to be successful, effective structure and organization are essential. Our Chesapeake Conference administration knows that we have a responsibility to our members to be good stewards and faithfully manage the resources that have been entrusted to us. This involves ensuring that we're communicating effectively, that careful records are kept, and conference assets are managed wisely in order to advance God's kingdom work here in Chesapeake. One of the communication department's primary responsibilities is to share news of what's happening in our churches and schools with wider audiences, including our conference constituency, the larger Adventist community, and the general public. We publish an average of three stories each week in our conference email newsletter, Chesapeake Currents. 
We develop Chesapeake content for Visitor Magazine and have produced news and feature stories that have appeared in Adventist publications like NAD News Points, Adventist Review, and Adventist World. We've also continued to invest in upgrading our video and audio capabilities to produce digital content for our YouTube and Roku channels and social media platforms. Chesapeake is committed to helping churches and schools communicate effectively to further their ministry goals. During the pandemic, we've provided resources and technical assistance for churches as they moved into live streaming and virtual ministry. We also assist our conference schools by providing marketing consulting and assisting in recruitment initiatives. And when crises occur, our department stands ready to serve by helping our churches and schools communicate effectively by working together to prepare official statements and respond to media inquiries. We're excited to continue telling the Chesapeake story about what God is doing in our churches and schools. Your planned giving and trust services department provides a service for interested donors who intend to make a memorial gift through their estate plan. First, they cultivate a plan which makes allocations for their friends and family members. Through their estate plan, they also create a legacy whose objective is to financially support church, school, conference, or even world church entities. During the 2017 to 2021 period, the legacies totaled $495,000. The bequests reflect the ministry happening at each of our organizations, along with the value placed on that ministry by your donors. Next, your development department led out in the creation and implementation of the Chesapeake Advance Plan offering annual appeal. We also provide consultancy for churches conducting capital campaigns and other projects requiring fundraising. Last, your Chesapeake Conference Association holds legal ownership of all church, school, or conference property for their benefit. The association officers are charged with the responsibility of signing all legal documents, including agreements, deeds, contracts, and leases. With more than 100 churches, groups, and companies, there are frequently properties that are being negotiated either for purchase or for sale. Also, we provide expertise to building committees as they design new church or school buildings. Our Chesapeake Conference is blessed. Over the last five years, the conference statistical reports for membership and church growth have been positive. As a result of the Lord's blessings, we've seen the membership of the Chesapeake Conference continue to grow. This quinquennium, Chesapeake membership increased from 15,756 members in 2017 to nearly 17,000 members as of the close of 20. 21. As previously stated, 2,063 people joined the Chesapeake Conference over the past quinquennium through baptism or profession of faith. When we look at the numbers by year, we see that 571 people joined Chesapeake Conference by baptism or profession of faith in 2017, 368 joined in 2018, and 499 in 2019. The onset of the pandemic in 2020 had a major impact on many of the evangelistic programs and initiatives planned for the year. But 189 people still joined through baptism or profession of faith in 2020 despite those challenges. We praise God that our baptism numbers returned to pre-pandemic levels in 2021 as 436 people were welcomed into Chesapeake churches. In addition to baptisms and membership growth, we've also seen the hand of the Lord on the Chesapeake Conference through new church plants and congregations. During this past quinquennium, 
we've welcomed 13 new church groups and celebrated eight churches that have reached company status. And today, our conference executive committee is recommending that we accept four congregations that have reached full church status into the Chesapeake Sisterhood of Churches. The growth of the Chesapeake Conference during the past quinquennium highlights how God has blessed our conference powerfully and tangibly. He alone is worthy of worship and praise. May God continue to inspire and empower us as his people to partner with him to enlarge his kingdom and our appointed field of service. The last five years have provided a great opportunity for us to reflect and understand where we are in God's prophetic timeline. We know that Jesus is coming soon and we praise God for his leading over the last five years. The financial report for the last quinquennium tells the story of a faithful constituency that has trusted their valuable resources to confidence administration so that together we can tell the world that Jesus is coming soon. As we conclude this five years period, our confidence is in a steady and healthy financial condition. Thai, the main source of funding for the conference operation during the last quinquennium, our member faithfully returned 101.9 million in Thai. This amount represents an 18.5% increase over the previous quinquennium. Chesapeake Conference Thai per capita continued to be the highest in the Columbia Union and the fifth highest in the North American division. And for that, we praise the Lord. It's clear that we have many reasons to be thankful for how the Lord has blessed the Chesapeake Conference over the past five years. He alone deserves our praise and adoration. Yet there's still much more to be done. In Luke 19, 13, while telling the parable of the 10 pounds, Jesus says, occupy till I come. This means that we're to be diligent in doing the Lord's business until He returns. Our responsibility is to stay faithful and focused on the mission, relying on the Holy Spirit to give us the necessary tools to prepare the world to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. The fields are ready for the harvest, so let us pray and work together to hasten His return. And may the Lord bless us as we continue to serve Him in this new quinquennium.